experiment this morning with the Imagination Station and Sarah Gulch is here with a demonstration. Tell me a little bit about these uh, unusual plates you have. <laughs> sure. In so front of us. these are actually called Colodney plates. Um, they're named by. Ernst Claudney, and okay. he was a physicist and also a musician. Okay. All right, so actually I'm gonna have you hold your plate nice and flat. And uh, what he wanted to do was study kind of how vibrations occur, mm -hmm. and um, he used them to measure the speed of different gases and uh, things like that. Now you're not passing the salt and pepper here. I'm not, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, so you're gonna put that plate in your left hand. Don't okay. spill all your... All what your if we, sand. What do we put on here? So this is sand. <laughs> yep, on here. it's just sand. Okay. And what we're going to do is you're actually going to pull your bow perpendicular and allow that plate to vibrate. There you go. So if you take a look now at your plate where we had oh. kind of a mess of sand, you can see we're starting to get a really cool pattern in there. And that's because the plate is vibrating and as it vibrates, um, it's kind of creating an up and down pattern. So. Half of my plate is vibrating up and the other half is vibrating down very, very quickly, okay? And what happens is where we've got these lines of sand, those are called the nodal lines. Okay. And that's where the plate's actually not vibrating at all. That's why the sand travels there, okay? Really? So if you want, you can set yours down because yours has a pretty cool pattern. Okay. And uh, depending on where we, where we pull or change the pitch, we can get some different patterns. So you can see mine are kind of traveling now to the um, edges as well. So pretty cool. We can get these really unique patterns. I can't even begin to explain how this is all vibrating and what's sure. moving where, but it looks really cool, Very right? Very cool. And we can see those vibrations that we would otherwise only hear. Um, so this one, do you want to try this one? Now this okay. one's a little trickier, okay? Because we've got rounded edges. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put you over the pan sure. so we don't make too big of a mess today. All right, we'll put some sand on there and go ahead and try that one. So you can pull, yep, right there at the edge. Oh, hold on. Don't worry. I told you I was <laughs> off pitch with my musical That's tone. That's okay. Come on. Here, what if we try something different? What if we take I'm failing, your plate? Sarah. No, it's okay. It's not a failure. Okay. It's a learning moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what if we take She's your so plate? She's so kind, isn't she? <laughs> And we're actually going to put it on a mechanical vibrator. So this is like what you would have in a speaker at home. Okay. So what if we put that on there? And then I'm just going to use like a small generator to create those vibrations for us now. So we can actually kind of change our volume, our pitch, our frequency, all kinds of different things. And you can see now all of our sand is vibrating and moving and we can see it kind of pulling and making these nice parallel lines. Okay. We can changed up a little more. Now we have like really straight lines, which is pretty cool. And um, what's fun about this is like I said, it gives us a way to kind of see those things that we would otherwise just hear. Okay. Should we try a different plate? I have one we more. We should. We yes. should. Okay. I gotta ask, was I meant for failure on that first try? No. <laughs> hey, You're like I said, kind. it's it's not a failure. That's kind. how we learn May what I? works and what doesn't. Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay. Okay, and like I said, we use sand because it's a, it's a very fine material, so it vibrates really easily. So this one actually kind of maybe looks similar to our dog bone pattern over there. Ooh. And like I said, it's kind of just like playing with the frequency and the pitch and changing things up to make these really interesting patterns. Um, but it's useful for us to know this kind of information because this is um, very helpful for creating musical instruments. So thinking about the mm -hmm. soundboard on a violin or a cello or a guitar, um, you know, where those vibrations are occurring, what's going to maximize your sound and your output. Very cool, Sarah. Yeah. Appreciate that. What's going on with you guys at the Imagination Station as we kind of head into the holiday season here, too? Yeah, we actually just started Frostology this past week. So Love we're that. doing all the science of the season, all winter-related activities, which are really fun. So make sure you come check those out. Okay, you're not going to see anything frozen in the next seven no. days outside. <laughs> so you might as well check it out at the Imagination right. Station. Very cool, Sarah. Appreciate that. Stay with us. More WTL in your day coming up in just a moment.